Hey folks, thought I'd try something different and uh, put together a bit of footage I've been sitting on from a recent trip, well recent as in January, to uh, California. Um, those of you guys who know me know I'm originally from Houston, Texas, but um, this past January I took the kids and Katrina to California to go to Mammoth and Disneyland, and once that trip wrapped up, and uh, Katrina and the kids are on their way home, decided that before heading to Las Vegas for work, let's spend the weekend doing some riding. So took a trip from Los Angeles out to Las Vegas so that I could go to Bootleg Canyon just outside of Boulder City. So there's Las Vegas. Boulder City is just to the southeast of Las Vegas, probably only about a half an hour drive if I remember correctly. So Boulder City's basically the town that got formed when the Hoover Dam was built. And Bootleg Canyon are these hills just outside the town. Um, if you have a look at Trail Forks, when I met some of the locals, they suggested that POW, or is it POW, be one of the first trails just to check out. So this footage that's coming up next is of me riding POW. Um, I just, looking back at this footage, I'm just amazed by how beautiful the scenery is. Down here in Victoria and Australia, we just don't have anything like this. Uh, the closest thing I can think of when you're riding in Nevada is, uh, just feel like you're on Mars. It's very dry, it's very rocky. Now this is a blue trail, so it's not too wild, and, uh, I'm on a rental bike. And also, you know, there's that fear of being in the States. You definitely don't want to injure yourself over there. Next thing you know, you're going to get slapped with a million dollar uh, hospital fee. Now, you know, what's funny about here is that, uh, as you'll see, I finally lost my goggles there. The irony goals. being that later on on the trip, I loaned those goggles out to one of the racers at the top of the hill. And that was the end of those goggles. Never saw them again. Got some uh, bender jump lines in this giant pit. It's a pretty decent step. You see that second run out to another one. Nope. <laughs> Say that's you, big boys and girls. Now, the uh, Nevada State Champs were on while I was there that weekend, so I took the opportunity to grab a shuttle pass and take the shuttle up to the top of the hill. The funny thing about the shuttle is that. The well, locals all warned me that the shuttle was the scariest part of Bootleg Canyon, and they were not exaggerating. Talk about death gripping on your mountain bike. It's another thing to have to death grip on the side of a truck while it shakes violently and tries to throw you out. The shuttle drops you off basically at the midpoint um, up to the top of the hill. As you can see, it's got a bit of a sort of a level area where you can get a couple of trailheads. Um, for the downhill racers that were competing in the state champs, you got to do a bit of a hike, which I'll show later in the video. Off to the horizon there, you can see Boulder City. And here I am dropping into another blue trail called Boy Scout. This is probably my fun, you know, my favorite trail that I rode. I didn't ride that many because I was trying to be safe. Um, it was just an awesome, flowy trail. Well, flowy in the sense that, you know, there was no danger of falling off, falling, going face first in rocks, except for this corner here, which was just, uh, I just could not make it.
I have to say that uh, the stunt jumper that I re uh, rented from the local bike shop really impressed me. I mean, it's a 27 and a half bike, and size large. I usually ride extra large, and it was just utterly comfortable. It was just completely eaten up all these rocks and these steps. Just watching these videos, I'm just missing that whole area. Um, hopefully, once we get through these tough times and international travel starts again, I'll be able to get back over to the States and ride some of these trails again. Once you finish up with Boy Scout, oh, hey doggy, uh, you then go into Girl Scout to uh, end up at the bottom of the hill. As you can see, the downhill riders are coming up that shuttle that I took to get up there. I have to admit that I was mortified that I was going to eat shit right in front of them. I was taking it pretty easy. The weird thing about these corners is you can go pretty quickly around them, but they're blind, so you don't know how sharp the next corner is going to be. Unfortunately, uh, not exactly what you would call fast. There's a lot of things going through your head when you're somewhere unfamiliar on a rental bike and you have to go to work in a couple days. So it's taking it pretty easy. That being said, if I got back, I think I'd try to get a lot harder. Now this is us hiking back up to uh, the start of the downhill trails. Now I didn't actually ride them, but I wanted to check out a lot of the racers that uh, I'd met in the area and just see what they were doing and have a look at some of these double blocks up here. As you can see, everyone's just chilling, getting ready to do their race runs. There's Boulder City again. You can see those zip lines for a flying fox. And here's one of the competitors about to drop in to this double black. I just still can't get over these numbers. Yeah, 2300 meter uh, trail with over a thousand meter of descent. That's just insane. Anyway, looking forward to getting back and hopefully bring the downhill bike. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, keep playing around with Final Cut Pro and maybe make some more.